Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's card is kind of another negative one. I'm interested in seeing how this may play out today, but the Eight of Swords is about being trapped and powerless and feeling like you are unable to open your wings and take flight. It keeps you in a suspended feeling. I can't say I know why this relates today, but we will see. Hey guys and warm welcome back to the channel. This is day five of Vlogoween, and I'm really excited because this is one of the projects I've been waiting to do for some time. Uh, as you can see here, there is a container of water, and I will get to that in just a second. But what we're doing today is using these little dollar store, I think they're called cloches, cloches, honestly, I don't know. I've got a couple of them. I actually even have... A great big one that we are definitely getting to at some point later on in this series um, but they're the things that you see uh, roses in for like Beauty and the Beast merch and like in the in the Disney movie and stuff like that so anyway what we're doing is um, I finally have decided what I'm doing with these little bugs that I've been collecting. So this is like really popular in Japan, I guess, but uh, I've started noticing them everywhere, especially in the springtime here, because um, you see beetles like these, like the real big stag beetles and the Hercules beetles and all that. Um, but we are going to do one of these uh, excavating, like, dig... What do you call these? Dig things. <laughs> Um, you know, you see them all the time on like TikTok and stuff like that, but they are actually a lot of fun. Um, I already have three or four I'm going to work with, but I'm going to open one and just so you guys can see what that's like. Um, and then I just wanted to show you a few other products that I have found. Um, this little one, which is actually one of the nicer looking beetles, came out of a, like, uh, bath bomb thing. I usually put them in my foot baths and stuff. I thought it would be fun. I didn't realize I was going to love it so much and want like, you know, 20 more of them. Uh, but they also have this one, which is just another brand of the digging kits. And then this one I actually got in a Gashapon and it's like a dung beetle. So the idea today is to put these guys on a stick, put it inside, and it's like, you know, a bug specimen. Um, I've always wanted those, like all around the house and stuff. I want like actual specimen looking ones and uh, I would love to put them all over my desk and stuff. So we're gonna make some miniature fake ones today because I'm afraid to buy them here and that they won't let me take them with me because Japan has some really specific rules about that. So, we're gonna dig this out, see what we got, see what size he is, because I haven't done one like this just yet. And that might determine which one we end up doing first. And we might only get to one in this video, but don't worry because I want to make a bunch of these, so they'll be all over my channel at some point or another. So this comes with like these little tools. And I guess you don't have to put them in water, but I watch everybody else do them, do them in water, so I thought that might be fun and a little less messy because all that dust won't go everywhere. But I could be wrong. Woo! It's bubbly. ASMR. see it. Oh 
snap. Well, I think I know which one it is. Water is totally way the way to do these. They come out so much nicer than all that dirt and stuff getting everywhere. All right. So he's actually a pretty big boy. I don't think he's going to fit in this one very well. He would take it up too much. And I also had this idea for some of the smaller ones to be able to put them in multiples in something like this. Because I could do like a command hook and put this on the wall and that would be really cool too. So I think we're just going to stick with doing a couple of these today. And then uh, we'll find him a new home at some point down the road. Maybe when we do the larger uh, glass dome. Maybe I could do a couple of them in there. Because I would like to do one of these just to see the difference in the quality. So I gathered a few things. Um, obviously we're going to get our little jar thing here. You could also use other jars. Um, I don't have anything right next to me or handy to show you, but you could like turn an, a regular jar upside down and use the base as, well, the lid as a base. You know what I mean? All right, anyway, so um, you need a jar or some kind of thing like this. I'm going to use a skewer. Uh, probably just this amount of the end. I decided to keep the sharp part because that will stick down in the cork really nicely and we'll just secure it with a little bit of glue. And then I have various moss type stuff. Uh, this is like kind of fuzzy but like plasticky too. And then this is like the really soft stuff that you use. Um, you've probably seen it in like the train miniature section or whatever. I'm not sure which one I want to use for this because I'm also saving some of this for the bigger one because I have a very specific idea of what I'm doing for that. So I think we'll start by cutting down a piece of this just to see if it'll work. I want it to sit on this top part so that it'll go on the inside and not bother the lid. This stuff is kind of messy. It'll get everywhere if you cut it like this, but messy is fun. Okay, we're gonna see if we like that first. And we need to go a little bit smaller. Perfect. All right, and then that's what that'll look like when we get it secured. This is probably the easiest way to do this. I don't have any wire or anything, but it would be nicer if this was a little bit thinner, I think. But it should still, it should still be good. I am going to paint it first. I wanted it to be black, and then when I tested out a piece earlier, I didn't like it. So we're going to actually paint it gold. Just so it's not an unfinished piece of wood. Because it's not going to be like super crazy gold. And actually, if I had a wood stain, I would probably try that. But I don't. Okay, and it doesn't need to go all the way to the end because, of course, we're going to stick that in the cork and then probably cover it up with this green fuzzy stuff. This is good and dry. I think we're going to do the bug last. 
So I kind of started a little bit of a hole here. And just wedge it down in there really hard. Okay. And then I'm gonna do some little dabs around the edges here. Because I want this to go over it really smoothly. Make sure our hole is big enough. I'm gonna do another little snip in the opposite direction. Fit right over it. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna glue this down. So you can see how that's going to look in the glass. I think that's awesome. I wish this glue wasn't coming out over here, but we'll just keep that turned around to the back side. All right. So anyway, it's just going to look like this. And now time for Mr. Buggy. So I don't want the stick to come up past him. I'm going to do it from the back side so I don't mess it up. And I'm going to do the tiniest, tiniest amount of hot glue all the way down. All right, he's on there. So I did find out that this is an elephant beetle. This is the one we just opened in the dig kit. And it is bigger than I would like for this because he would be full size in here and I like the little versions for these because it's so dainty and cute uh, but I have another jar I think I might use him for and then I could also do multiples of this size in that larger um, container that I showed you at the beginning of the video uh, but I think what I want to do eventually when I get enough of these little guys because they they're all different too is be able to do basically the exact same thing but all together as a collection. I think that would be awesome. And try and figure out something to do in the background. Maybe different patterned uh, papers or something like that. Because I found some really beautiful uh, origami paper in the Daisos here and maybe that would be a cool way to do like a little Japanese nod um, and have it in my my studio. He is good to go. He's nice and secure on there. I don't think I'm going to have any problems with that. I did decide I want just a couple little pieces of this other moss to kind of cover up the base a little bit. This is the moment of truth. So he definitely doesn't hit the side, which is exactly what I wanted. But there he is in his new home, ready to go sit on my shelf. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and comment, and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!